Piers Morgan has taken to Twitter to reassure Marty Lewis' wife Laura Lewington about the welfare of a piglet he was holding on yesterday's uncensored show. The former Good Morning Britain presenter, 57, was holding the farmyard creature as he compared Boris Johnson to a very greasy piglet while calling for him to resign. It comes as the executive director of News UK Aaron Gordon posted a clip of Piers holding a piglet while hosting yesterday's show. He posted a row of laughing faces while tagging Piers and his uncensored program. Martin Lewis' wife Lara Lewington was quick to comment on the clip of the animal, which showed it barely moving. She wrote, Is the pig alive, it didn't move? At all. However, Piers was quick to reassure her that the animal was perfectly fine and just well behaved. He wrote back, Very much alive. But surprisingly docile in my comforting arms. Aaron replied, Piers has the magic touch. Yesterday, Piers addressed the goings-on in government on his talk TV show Uncensored while holding a piglet in his arms. Describing Johnson as a piglet running out of Greece, he passionately called for him to resign. The 57-year-old broadcaster opened the show in a different style to usual with the animal in his arms. Good evening, on Piers Morgan, uncensored tonight, Boris Johnson must go, he said. The greased piglet of politics has slipped and squirmed through almost three disastrous years of disorder and deceit. Dot as the pig appeared relatively at ease, the journalist continued, 38 resignations in two days have butchered his government ad tonight, surely, nothing can now save his bacon. The small animal casually rested in Piers' arms as he blinked at the camera before the titles rolled. Later, the pig had gone as Piers addressed Johnson directly, stating, Tonight you lie in your Downing Street sty, refusing to go, behaving like the very greasy piglet the Daily Mail put on its front page last night. He added, This little piglet may be finally running out of grease, continuing, Let's face it, Boris, you're a zombie prime minister staggering on as the rotting leader of this dead government. The British people have had enough and it's their agonizing moments tonight that should really cut through to you. Boris resigned earlier today after more than 40 ministers and aides left their posts. The PM told how he plans to stay on until October and will leave once a new cabinet has been formed. Following the news, fears hit back, not by you staying there, they won't. Leave.